For days, streets in Mina, the Niger state capital, witnessed large turnouts of youths protesting against alleged failure of the federal government to address the challenges of bad federal roads, epileptic power supply, insecurity, youth unemployment, all in addition to the call to end police brutality. The protests have been put on hold, but the engagement of the youth is now an ongoing process as directed by President Mohamed Buhari and the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Zubair Dada, is in Niger State to dialogue with critical stakeholders on the way forward. Honorable, I am glad to have here representing the um, government to speak on our behalf to convey our intentions and messages to His Excellency. We need our roads to be fixed and that very, very quickly so that we will not be disappointed as far as this is concerned. There is a call for specific attention to be given to the youths just as they berate both the state and local governments for allegedly delaying the distribution of palliatives. At the time when you can bring over 1.5 million on the street, there are jobless controlling them with practically impossible. I want you to please tell His Excellency, these are problems that are evident. These are problems that are not, and these are problems that are really poisoning for everybody. The state government hopes the message of the stakeholders reaches President Buhari as part of solutions to the crisis. Almost 100% of the issue raised, almost 95%. You are to take it to Mr. President. The minister, however, emphasizes the need for unity and collective responsibility. It is a moment for sober reflection. It is a moment for introspection by both leaders and for us to ask ourselves, where have we gone wrong? Where are we going wrong? And what is it that we need to do to get things right? Participants drawn from all walks of life are expectant that a meeting such as this will lead to a major transformation in the state. Emperor Simon, Channel Television News.